So, honestly, I've been sitting here just chilling, trying to get my life together before I have to um, do all of these meetings tomorrow. Um, so, if you guys don't know, um, when I'm on, I, I have a lot of Facebook friends. So, if you guys ever want to follow me on Facebook and see what I'm doing outside of YouTube, then you can do that. Also, as always, in the description box and all of that good stuff. Um, but anyways, I was going to leave all of this scamming stuff alone. I wasn't even going to do a video about it or nothing. Um, but I'm like, why not do it? Because this organization has been good to me um, and I don't see why I shouldn't stand behind it um, so it is this girl named Crystal Brown I will put her Facebook page and also a clear picture of her somewhere on the screen um, also I will put all of her Facebook posts on the screen about this situation and you guys can just freeze it and pause it wherever you like um, so, also, I will put in the email that I got that she claimed that, um, they was going to, um, they was going to send me the money. So, the organization, if I haven't said it, is FEMA. She claimed that FEMA will give all the Americans $3,500. Um, you just have to follow some steps. Also, I will include these people that is on her channel saying that it's easy they got their money but they're not really showing it and also i'm not sure if they work for her or if they in the scam with her or she's paying them somehow but i am going to put all of their pictures there um i'm not going to link her page because i'm pretty sure by the time this video comes out she'll be deleted her page or something like that but I doubt it because, honestly, you don't see the scam nowhere on her page. It's just on her stories. So, I contacted her and said, how does this work? How does FEMA work? And I went at her with not knowing, um, acting like I didn't know what was going on and all that stuff. Now, I have, like I said, I've been working for FEMA for four years off and on. I work for them when it's like a big disaster or something. That's when they uh, renew my contract, and that's when I start back working for them. Now, within them four years, I never heard about FEMA giving away money if you're not in the disaster. And then if you are in a disaster, it still takes some time for you to receive that money unless, um, unless some other things are in play and you can get it faster. Um, but for my knowledge, I'm not going to speak on those things. I'm going to speak on what she was telling me. Now, mind you guys, I have been through this before with someone telling me they're sending me some money and it's coming through a bank. Um, I have been scammed like that before. Um, and I'm going to give you that story time another day, but this story time is different. So, um, she was telling me, well... Um, FEMA was giving out 3500 The only thing we needed was your email address and your cash app handle. So I sent both of those. Now mind you guys, I never leave my debit or credit card hooked to my um, cash app account. And I never have um, money left on my cash app account. Because, um, yeah, I just, I'm, just not, I'm just not that careless. So, um, move it along, move it along. Um, she told me to wait and they was going to send something through my email. Now, I do have my email to where it can, it can send out or it can, uh, get rid of scams. It goes straight to my scam folder. And that's what the email went to. So I know right then and there, it was a scam. Um, and plus a couple of weeks before, it looks like the same email. So... Uh, I was like, it's it's a waste of time. So, so I when I received that email, then that's when I told her, yeah, it's a scam. Um, and then she said, what happened? What did I do wrong or some shit like that? And then um, I was telling her, I 
FEMA is never going to ask you to pay them before they send you money. That's where you fucked up at. They would never do that. So then, moving along, moving along, um, it was, she start. she sent me this video, the same thing that was on her story, explaining it's not a scam, it's her, blah, blah, blah. So, um, when she sent me that video, after I told her that I'm not interested because I worked for FEMA for four years, and I want to, what is your ID for FEMA? Um, FEMA give all of their employees a ID, a government ID number, and you need their government ID number to identify yourself to anyone that claims they're FEMA or they don't believe that you're FEMA, something like that. So when I start asking for that, that is when she started calling me. Um, she kept saying she's not a scam. She was trying to call me a scam. Um, and, and I'm like, this is like good content for my YouTube channel. And she said, that's good. And then when I scroll back up and start taking screenshots of everything, because I knew in the back of my head, oh yeah, she finna delete some stuff. So I went back and start screenshotting everything. And I noticed like she deleted the video she sent me, but the thing is, it's not deleted on your channel. Um, I did take a screenshot of that video. I just didn't download the whole video because it's, it's pointless. She just showing you um, all these costs and stuff. But what she's not understanding is you showing me one thing about FEMA, but I see all these Bitcoin uh, charges. Like, that's a scam. So, it's just a lot of scammers. And, and I see them working with Bitcoin and all this stuff. And she sent me a screenshot of some. Now, now that I'm sitting here thinking about it, that whole Bitcoin comment was kind of rude. But what I was really saying was really trying to get my point across. But um, I noticed like every scammer that reach out to me, asking me to send them money through Cash App, I always see where they been having all these Bitcoin transactions. And I noticed like. A lot of people overseas and majority of the people that stays in like New York and all that stuff, they usually do cons through Bitcoin. So I I don't know. I just pay close attention when people tell me to do something through Cash App. I always pay attention to the Bitcoin transactions because yeah, it's a scam. Even though I did see the email before I guess I use that email to um to prove my point i guess um and sorry about all these pictures i just wanted to get my point across because this video is real small and i had to put in all these different pictures and it's the weekend i haven't had time to do a big collage of them so and you can always pause to read the text messages and email as you go so let's get back to the movie Somebody getting thirty five hundred dollars for FEMA, but if you read the the screenshot, it says your money. Um, they had paid you or something like that. Um, and I'm gonna put up a, a screenshot of that. You guys will probably see these videos. I mean, these pictures in these videos twice because I'm gonna put them all at the beginning, and then I'm gonna pull them throughout so you guys can know how the text messages came about so then after that um when i said something about youtube channel that's when she constantly called me um and she called me three times no she called me twice and then she started saying i feel like you're a scammer because okay before you say anything i know it seemed like i'm repeating myself but honestly what i was trying to say was she kept on calling me through video and i kept denying her and then youtube i mean facebook asked me do i want to block her because it kept seeing me denying it and eventually i said yeah and um i think honestly she she tried to use somebody else's account because right after i blocked her um one of her goon swords that I posted throughout this video started calling me on video chat. And I guess she was trying to prove that she was real 
But the thing is, you can prove to me all day you're real. But what you're doing is a scam. I was calling her a scam. I was calling what she was doing a scam. And I don't know. Just because you picking up the phone, calling me, that doesn't prove anything different. That you're a real human, but you're still a scam artist. So, yeah. That's what I was trying to get to. Let's get back to the movie. You want to pick up your phone? Like, why do I have to pick up my phone? Just because you're showing me who you are doesn't mean you're not scamming people. If I got to pay you $200 just for you to send me $3,500 back, like, that's a scam in some way to me. Because I never knew the cash app charge you that high for that much to come through. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm going to do a little research on it. I really don't think you can send that much money through Cash App at one time anyways. But I'm going to do a little, I'm gonna, if I find um, something important about that, I'm going to screenshot it and put it in this video while I'm editing it. So don't forget. Um, so yeah, overall, I she called me again. I didn't pick up. And Facebook said, do you want to um, block Crystal from calling? So I just blocked her and I ain't want anything else to do with it because I have been working for FEMA for four years. Even when we will, we had a bad time during Katrina, FEMA helped us out. So it's like I'm not fin to not talk about it. Because the other ones I was like, okay, it's not really important, especially the job scam on Indeed. And I'm going to talk a, briefly about Indeed plus scamming on that tip but I'm not going to do the whole um the whole logist about it the whole story time because it's going to be repetitive because it's already one on my channel about this game and I think so I'm going to go back and do a little research on that but um it's just crazy that people doing a lot of scamming through cash app and all of that that's, that's one app I would not use when I start my business is cash app um, because it's a lot of scamming on that. Um, but yeah, that's all I have to say about this video, this, this little tidbit. I'm going to go back doing what I was doing. I hope you guys have the rest of your good Thursday. Um, or whenever video, whenever time you are watching this, always remember, stay smart. Know, like, if it's too good to be true, it is. And remember, all easy money, all free money is not the best way to go.